Hello, let's take a close look at the process of transforming a simply picture into a list of machine G-code commands for engraving using an endurance diode laser. To do this we'll open the picture Merry Christmas. This is a raster. If we magnify the picture we'll see pixels. To transform the image into a vector once we need to open Inkscape program. In the program we need to import the image to the work surface in our program Inkscape. We can use a special button or menu. At first we need to select the image. The program asks for a dialog window. We click OK. The image is already selected. You can tell by the dashes from around the image. If the image is OK and we do not need to retouch it, it may start to vectorize it. For this we'll need to click Contour and then Vectorize Raster. In the opened uh, menu there are three variants of image transformation. The first one is brightness reduction, the second is edging and the third is color quantization. The first filter is used more often than the other two and is better in most cases. Let's see what we'll get in case of default threshold customization. As we click OK, the vector overlaps is our image. We need to drag it somewhere else for a detailed examination. There is what we have. Let's have a close look at it. We have what we have due to low quality of our original image. Well, if there are a few elements like this and they do not spoil the general look of the image, we can ignore them and just start engraving at once. Anyway, we'd like to show you process a vector image using the function simplify. Now you see the picture has changed. Its contours are now more sharply defined, but the style is broken. Well, in my opinion, the image looks worth now. But you know, tastes differ. Perhaps someone will like this picture better. As for me, I need to click cancel and go back to the previous variant. We'll take this image as our object for engraving. By the way, we would recommend that you should change pixels for millimeters if your default units measures in Inkscape are pixels. To do that, uh, open document properties in the menu and select millimeters. Then you have to margin field of engraving, in our case 200 to 190 mm. The size depends on your 3D print model. The working field of our printer is 200 mm to 200 mm. The laser installation also shows some shifts against the extruder center. In our new settings, saved. In the panel of controls of the program, we see the XY coordinates. They depict the bottom left corner of our image field. Depending on the item or material we are going to engrave, we'll set the width 100 mm, for example. This is the size of our future engraving. Further, depending on the sample fixation and the way you define the starting point, we insert the necessary value, for example, 44 for X and 55 for Y. I will repeat once again, these values depend on the fixation place of engraving item and the reference system of installed laser. Now your image is within the system of coordinates and is correctly propositioned and has the right size corresponding to our sample. Now we have to generate uh, currently G-code. We'll use two Inkscape plugins. One of them is plugin GTEC Photonics Laser Tool and the second is G-code tools. The first plugin is easier to use but it sometimes throws errors. Anyhow, let's try it. In the dialog window we see various settings which we can fix in advance. There are already inserted uh, necessary commands for our 3D printer and how. Uh, they are laser on demand, laser out command, travel speed when the laser is off, laser engraving speed then, when laser is on, the laser power in percentage will be always half 100. Power delay in milliseconds used only when we have to wait for laser to gain its full power. Our laser doesn't need it, but 
For our purpose, let's enter one millisecond. Passes and numbers of laser passes. It's possible to generate G-code with 5, 10 or more passes. Any pass in the depth of engraving in one pass. We also need to consider the laser focus and move down the laser head closer to the item being engraved. It means that every pass the command reducing Z coordinates will show up the code. Naturally, it is necessary to specify a correct catalog to save file. As we click Apply G-Code, generation starts. During G-Code generation, you will see the dialog window. It is necessary to wait it to disappear. As the window closes, we see the counters of our image appears in the working field. To check the correctness of generated G-code, we can use various programs of visualization, for example, basic CNC viewer. We open it and the generation, yeah, and we see generated G-code. The program CNC viewer showed us the result picture. Now we can see and wait um, and stage of its processing. We can control the speed of engraving. Now we see the picture looks the way we want it to be. Uh, now let's open generated G-code in the editor. Then we'll have to save this file on SD card, insert the card into our 3D printer and enjoy!